Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over a big snowstorm over portions of the northeast that's going to be happening uh, between the 29th and the 30th, so between today and tomorrow, where some areas will be picking up up to 4 to 5, maybe even 6 inches of snowfall in some of the higher elevation regions, uh, and this could be going a lot further south than what we thought yesterday, where yesterday a lot of the models warmed up, but now they have uh, they have really chilled down the system, and they have really uh, made the system quite a lot more uh, a lot more powerful and a lot colder than what they saw before and now we have a lot more snowfall on our hands with this storm we're going to be giving you my personal snowfall and rainfall forecast as well as my personal timing forecast so when i think uh you will see snowfall and rainfall we'll time it out for you guys and then we'll also look at a couple of the modeled forecasts and what they're showing if you want a personal forecast just leave your uh, location down below so uh, a town name a county name uh, what part of a state you're in just anything that i can give a general forecast to and i'll give you a precise forecast for when your rain will start when your snow will start if you are going to see snow and uh, how cold your temperatures will be as well as how much snowfall and rainfall i think you'll get so here is the current national weather service page uh, we currently have air quality alerts in effect for parts of oregon washington idaho and montana as well as parts of colorado and california we see some high wind watches in effect for portions of northern Montana as well as some wind advisories for portions of the south central and parts of the middle Atlantic and southeastern United States with some high wind warnings for portions of North Carolina. We have tropical storm warnings in effect for portions of Virginia, uh, parts of North Carolina, and I believe that even goes into parts of Tennessee, as well as parts of South Carolina and Georgia. We have flood watches from New Jersey southward into Virginia and West Virginia, as well as another area in Kentucky and Indiana, and another area in between Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. We have freeze watches in that lightest blue for portions of southern Pennsylvania, and then we even have winter weather advisories, which, were, which are currently up for southern uh, Vermont and New Hampshire and I think that'll probably extend down through most likely this area and maybe that'll even touch parts of the coast so we'll have to see what the National Weather Service decides to do with that so we're going to look at what the NAM 3 cam model shows in terms of precipitation and then we'll look at uh, some of the snowfall forecasts from other models and then my personal forecast again at the end of the video so here would be uh, by uh, today, this would be right around right now when I'm recording this video. So this would be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, right around when I'm recording this video right now. And we're looking at some heavy to moderate rain over portions of much of the Northeast. Maybe a little bit of mixing uh, over portions of Maine and New Hampshire, but especially that's going to be in those higher elevation regions. But then as we get to uh, right around, uh, this would be right around 8 p.m. And we're starting to see a little bit more mixing for parts of New Hampshire, Vermont, and upstate New York. But there's still not that much but then as we get to about 11 p.m. Eastern time tonight this is when we're really looking at quite a bit of snowfall for portions of upstate New York Vermont and New Hampshire with much of that scattered rainfall still throughout the Northeast and mid-Atlantic states then as we start to get to Friday uh, right around 2, p uh, 2 a.m. Eastern time uh, we're starting to see some snowfall move through ports portions of uh, Maine New Hampshire Vermont and upstate New York uh, so we are starting to see some snowfall heavy to moderate move through those areas and you're going to start to see zeta which is which by this point is right down here you had a lead front which was back through here and now zeta is moving further to the north and east and you're going to end up getting that cold air to push in from the north and it's going to be a matter of how much cold air can you get while you still have precipitation in the air you heard be by right around 5 a.m eastern time and we're looking at some heavy snowfall for portions of upstate New York and northern Pennsylvania, as well as some light to moderate snowfall over central New England. And then as we get to uh, right around 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, so tomorrow, we're looking at heavy snowfall for portions of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and southern New Hampshire as well, and Vermont, as well as the southern half of upstate New York, uh, parts of northern Pennsylvania and New Jersey as well in that moderate snowfall and moderate heavy snowfall. I I think this is a little bit overdone and I think this is a little bit uh, on the high end of the sides the NAM 12 cam model usually does uh, overestimate something so it usually overestimates cold air and how much snowfall you get so you have to tune this down a little bit and I don't think it'll be as heavy as what this is showing but of course you'll see that in my uh, official forecast at the end of the video now here would be right around 11 a.m. and it's starting to move further to the south and east but much of southern New England now under that snowfall according to this model and 
and then as we get to right around 2 p.m. Eastern time, we're looking at uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and even parts of upstate New York into some of that snowfall, but mainly it's getting all said and done with by this point, and then it wraps up all of this will be done uh, with by right around 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. Now, here's what the NAM, uh, the NAM 3 cam model is showing in terms of snowfall with this event. And if you're in that in the gray region, that's anywhere from 2 inches or less. And then 2 to 6 inches in the blue, 6 to 10. In the purples, in the pinks, that's where you're 10 plus inches. So you see that for parts of Vermont and upstate New York in those highest elevation regions. But generally, it's a good 2 to 6 inches for parts of central and southern New England, as well as upstate New York, Pennsylvania, and northern New Jersey. I think this is a little bit overdone especially on the southern end of the storm i don't think you'll see six inches in portions of uh boston or parts of uh of parts of southern upstate new york i really don't think that's going to be possible so i think it's mainly going to be tuned down i would um i would basically uh slash these uh snowfall totals in half or so uh because i do think this is a little bit overdone and you'll see that in my uh snowfall forecast so here would be another model here's the european model and what it's showing and the european model is on board i think this is a pretty good estimate of what will happen, especially as you get into central New England. I think that's where your snowfall totals will up a lot. Now, here would be by uh, what the GFS is showing, and we're looking at a much lighter storm with the GFS, and the GFS has been trending, it has been trending colder and more powerful with the system, uh, but it, it also has been one of the more uh, lower amounts uh, from all the models that I've seen, uh, and this is on the lower end of things, and I don't think the GFS really has this one nailed down quite yet. I think this will, be, the snowfall totals will be a little bit higher than this. Here to be what the your, uh, the UK MET model shows, and this one was actually quite accurate yesterday. Yesterday, uh, while all the models downgraded the storm, the UK Met actually uh, in upgraded the storm and actually showed more snowfall. And I think this is a fairly good model to look at, especially with this storm. I, th I think it's been very, very accurate. And we'll ultimately find out, uh, depending on how much snowfall we actually see uh, come tomorrow. Now, I heard it be by, uh, w by uh, this would, all of this is going by November 1st. So all of these snowfall totals are by November 1st. And this is the Argent model, the high resolution Canadian model. And the this one is a little bit lower it's on this uh, it's right around two inches or so uh, for many areas but I think this is a little bit again kind of like the GFS I think it's on the lower end of things here would be what the National Weather Service is showing in terms of snowfall and again I think this is also on the lower end of the side uh, uh, the lower end of things and I think that's mainly just because they don't want to go all in uh, with this just yet because a lot could change especially because of how early it is in the season but I would at least up these amounts by one or two inches in many areas now Here's what the icon model shows, and we have to use a little bit more of a zoomed out look, but we're looking at generally uh, two to six inches, and I think this one also is a fairly accurate representation of what may happen. And then here's the Korea model, and we're looking at, uh, again, I think this might actually be a fairly good model to look at with this storm. Now, here would be my forecast, and we're going to time out the rain and the snowfall for you guys. So this would be right around 5 p.m. today, and we're looking at heavy snowfall for portions of Connecticut, upstate New York. York, uh, parts of New Jersey, uh, and into parts of Pennsylvania, uh, Delaware, and Maryland there. Uh, that's where the heaviest snow, uh, the heaviest rainfall will be. But for much of the Northeast, uh, for the most part, you're looking at some uh, decent rains and maybe just some showers uh, Showers uh, as you get further to the west and to the north. We start to get some snowfall, moderate snowfall, in por portions of upstate New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire as we get to right around 8 p.m. tonight with that rain still along the coast. Then as we get to 11 p.m. tonight, I think we start to get into some of that uh, snowfall for portions of the Catskills. It's now moving out of the Adirondacks and the Green and White Mountains where that snowfall is starting to taper off a little bit. And this is when Zeta is starting to come up. So you're going to see a lead front of some decent rainfall come ahead of Zeta. And then Zeta would be right down here by this point. And that's w w where Zeta is going to continue to move kind of like this. And that's what's going to ultimately bring down all that cold air. And I think something that really affected this is the rapid change to a 
Category 2 with Zeta ahead of landfall with Louisiana. That really slowed down the storm, and what that ended up doing is allowing the colder to come in faster and also allowing the colder to be in place while we have Zeta in place at the same time, and that's really going to help um, bring a lot more snowfall with this storm than what we were originally anticipating. So this will be by 11 p.m. Here's by 2 a.m. Uh, tomorrow, and we're looking at some light to moderate snowfall through parts of southernmost uh, Maine, southern uh, New Hampshire, southern Vermont, and parts of central upstate New York there. Uh, we're in some of those higher elevation regions. You could get a, a little bit of moderate snowfall, but generally I think it'll be light snowfall as we get to 2 a.m. It really starts to crank up as we get to around 5 a.m., and this is when Zeta is actually starting to re-intensify off the New Jersey and Delaware coast, and it's actually starting to move further to the north and to the east, and that's actually allowing some of that snowfall to intensify as well on the northern end of the storm. So here would be by Friday 8 a.m. So tomorrow 8 a.m. we're looking at some heavy snowfall for portions of central New England, southern upstate New York, and as well for portions of northeastern Pennsylvania, that moderate snowfall uh, just uh, to the south and to the west of there. And then we see some light snowfall on the outskirts of this storm. Here to be by 11 a.m. and the heaviest snowfall now in southeastern New England. And we are looking at uh, probably some moderate, uh, light to moderate snowfall as you get further west from there. Uh, and this is when I think a lot of the areas closer to the coast are going to get most of their accumulation. Then as we get to 2 p.m. on Friday, it's really starting to taper off for many areas over southern New England and southern upstate New York. And really most of it is all said and done with by this point. Now here's my snowfall forecast and the rainfall forecast for the storm. Under an inch of uh, snowfall expected for these regions and much of New England except, except for much of Maine and then we have for much of upstate New York and northwestern New Jersey and northern Pennsylvania under an inch of snowfall is expected right now one to three inches of snowfall for portions of northern Pennsylvania central upstate New York and much of central and southern New England as well three to six inches of snowfall in these areas for parts of the Catskills in upstate New York as well as parts of the uh, green and white mountains in New Hampshire and Vermont uh, and then also for portions of Massachusetts uh, New Hampshire and Maine where you will get most likely into that band of heavier snowfall and that might up your amounts to right around three inches or snow uh, or, or so and then here is your rainfall forecast under an inch of rainfall for many of these areas from about Michigan northern Indiana and northern Illinois south and eastward all of these areas are seeing under an inch of rainfall one to two inches for parts of southern Indiana, southern Illinois, and northern Kentucky, as well as for portions uh, basically from everywhere from the Appalachians eastward is expecting about one to two inches of uh, rainfall. And then some pockets of two to three inches right around New Jersey, uh, parts of New York, a little bit of Connecticut, and then into parts of Pennsylvania there. And then we even have that two to three inch region for western Virginia, as well as west central parts of North Carolina there. Uh, so that is going to wrap it up for today's video again if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below i usually answer between uh, about 30 and uh, uh, 30 minutes in an hour so i usually try to get back to you guys fairly quickly so if you just want to forecast just give a town name a county name uh, or just a general part of your state so for example you could say uh, i'm in northern pennsylvania or i'm in central upstate new york or something like that something that would be able to give me uh be able for me to be able to give you some sort sort of forecast for your area so uh, if you have any questions leave them down below uh, but other than that I am going to wrap up the video right here please consider liking the video subscribing and turning on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye